Good evening, everyone. Hope you are all fine, safe, and healthy. Today, we are going to celebrate nothingness. Today, we are going to celebrate stupidity. Look at this wonderful picture. Does it make you laugh? Yes. Today, we are going to study something that will make us laugh. Actually, it is a kind of a mockery on something. Today, we are going to have a session on a portrait of Chadwell, a poem by John Dryden. Dear students, I am Ravi Shankar Padinkar, Assistant Professor, Bilai Institute of Technology, Raipur. This particular session on portrait of Shadwell will comprise of the introduction to the author. We'll uh, just have a look on the background study of uh, both the author and the entire scenario of the poem, the nature of the poem, what kind of poem it is, and then uh, later on we'll move towards the text and explanation. So I hope you'll enjoy. Uh, let's talk something about the author. John Dryden, born on 9th of August, 1631. John Dryden was the first poet laureate. My dear students, please take a note of it. This will help you in your objective type questions also. He was the first poet laureate. He was a satirist. Now mark this word because it's going to be uh, used a lot of time during the entire poem. Uh, satirist. It has come up the, the, uh, from the word satire. He was a poet and he was a literary critic. Uh, we'll later uh, understand what exactly satire is. And he belonged to the restoration period. This is one of the most important things which we have to understand. He belonged to the restoration period. And uh, restoration period is also called the age of Dryden. The famous works of John Dryden was Absalom and Achitophel. And uh, another one was McFly. Uh, Fleck, no? Now, this particular uh, genre of writing, he were considered as the, one of the best satires of their time. Now, understanding what is a satire, it's, it's a kind of a, uh, a humor used to write a poem that brings out the political vices. You must have heard about uh, funny poets, our very own Surendra Dubey or Surendra Sharma or uh, Kumar Biswas, they, they uh, make fun of uh, politicians, we laugh, but at the same time they bring out the vices that are and that is in the society, especially because uh, the political vices, the social vices. So when you use humor to bring out something that is evil in the society, especially because of the political reasons, it is a satire. So remember what is uh, uh, what John Dryden basically uh, meant when he wrote Absalom and Achitophel and MacFlecknow. Now let's understand the scenario, the background. Uh, the restoration period, as I told you, was from 1660 to 1688. Now why this was called restoration period? Because during this time, Charles II, Mark, Charles II was crowned and that and that restored monarchy. So remember this word restored. From a strict and a life full of rules, especially by Cromwell, uh, the people of England were fed up and then they wanted freedom. And actually they got freedom from everything, freedom from spirituality, freedom from rules and regulation, freedom from uh, living a proper life. And everything bad sometimes in the society was restored. Of course, there were restor restoration of art and other culture, but moral degradation and uh, society was uh, more or less full of psychophants and other things. All these things came back and that's why it's called uh, a restoration period. Now, uh, this particular poem, the, the portrait, uh, portrait of Shadwell, is a direct attack of... Uh, a direct attack by John Dryden on Thomas Shadwell. Now, uh, they both were um, they both were the court uh, poets in the court. But why did uh, Dryden have to attack Thomas Shadwell? Now, 
uh, to understand this, you'll have to understand that uh, during that time, uh, during the restoration period, the political scenario was such that that it was divided into two parts. As we have uh, the uh, as we have uh, two part major parties in India, there also they belong two parties: the Tories and the Whigs. The Tories were the ones who always believed that monarchy and the king and they were loyal towards the king and at the same time the Whigs were loyal towards the parliamentary system and this was one of the very big reason that uh, they uh, both belong to different uh, belief and that is the reason uh, they attacked each other and especially John Dryden did not leave any chance to, to insult Thomas Shadwell and he come up with his wonderful uh, satirical poem called the portrait of Shadwell and it was uh, he called him a true blue poet so he belonged to a royal, he did not leave a stone unturned to insult him another term after uh, satire you'll have to remember when you're reading this poem that this particular poem is a mock heroic poem now what is the difference between a heroic poem and a mock heroic poem Understand the word mock. Mock is making fun. Mock is ridiculing. Mock is showing down, uh, down to somebody. Now there have been heroic poems uh, singing praise of heroes and their heroic deeds like Homer's Odyssey and Iliad, or for that matter our Ramayana and Mahabharat. Long poems. They usually were long poems describing significant battles war and and singing praise of heroic deeds and stories of valor, valorous courage. Now what is the difference between a heroic and a mock heroic poem? A mock heroic poem is a poem in which the theme revolves around something of least importance. There is praise and there is lot of lofty words used for nothingness importance of insignificant thing the treatment of a zero is done as a hero when you write a mock heroic poem only then it becomes a mock heroic it makes fun of valor courage without a purpose and thus makes fun of the heroic now coming uh, to your poem the portrait of shedwell is an extract from the mac fleck now that uh, John Braden had written. Mac Flat now was, uh, was the king of uh, stupidity. And to understand what about uh, a little bit about the portrait of Shadwell, let's see. Uh, it's a satire on Thomas Shadwell. It was published in 1682. It is a mock heroic poem. Deals with an imaginary coronation. Now, um, this particular poem deals with an imaginary coronation. What do you understand by coronation? Coronation is when a king is being, through a ceremony, is being uh, given the oath and being made to sit in the throne. You must have seen uh, during this lockdown, we have been uh, re-watching uh, Ramayan and you, in recently, day before yesterday, or um, you must have seen that Ramayan uh, in uh, Ram coming back to Ayodhya and he was made to, uh, and he again got the throne and he was made to wear the crown and that particular ceremony is called coronation now choosing the emperor of the what kind of coronation you have to choose the emperor of dullness nonsense and stupidity you remember i had used the word mock heroic so they all will be singing praise of dullness nonsense and stupidity this is also a satire on poet Astor's or many boy, bad poets. You must have heard about the word disaster. Yes. So when a poet writes disaster, that is, he writes rubbish things, very bad poetry, they are called poetasters. Dryden has mocked the process, that is, Shadwell being chosen as the king of nonsense, dull and foolish poetry. So I hope you have understood the background. So.